first statement of claim discloses a reasonable cause of action as a result of negligence, breach of duty and negligent infliction of emotional distress by RCMP and Toronto Police Services. Uh, it discloses a reasonable cause of action as a result of assault, battery, fraud, human experimentation without informed consent, intentional infliction of emotional distress by Li Chen and Rang Xian Li. Uh, the statement of claim discloses a minimum level of fact. Psychotonic weapons work by means uh, of electromagnetic energy. The indif has video recordings of radio frequency meter measurements that show large and dangerous surges of electromagnetic energy, possible only from man-made powerful internal and external uh, electric uh, and radio frequency transmitters. It is a fact and it proves that plaintiff is under specific health and life-threatening electromagnetic and radio frequency fields. Plaintiff explained it to the uh, Honorable Justice Pitt and showed uh, him memory sticks with video recordings at uh, the motion. Psychotronic weapons attacks uh, and negligence of the police may be proved if constables Corby and Khan are put on oath and testify microwave hearing in a room of plaintiff in February 2008. I tried to examine Constable Corby uh, in the actions against uh, psychiatrists, doctors uh, D.F. and Gratz in the Superior Court of Justice. Uh, at the action against Dr. Gratzer on the 19th of May 2009, Mr. Robin Squire, a lawyer for the Toronto Police Services Board, said to Master Hawkins, if plaintiff examines Constable Corby, she will get a proof of the police negligence. Uh, unfortunately, uh, masters dismissed my motion, uh, motions and didn't let me examine Constable Corby. Fresh evidence, expert reports from Dr. Hildegard Steninger and addendum substantiate the psychotronic mind control ill effects on plaintiff. They prove that the plaintiff is a victim of specific electromagnetic and radio frequency fields that react with poisonous nanomaterials in her body. The toxic advanced nanomaterials in her system are used as microchips to send signals to the body. Fresh evidence, led us with expert opinion from uh, Dr. Cynthia Spanier, PhD, licensed psychologist, Dr. June Steiner, PhD, licensed hypnotherapist, uh, Joyce Myers, uh, licensed psychotherapist, prove that plaintiff's symptoms are the result of psychotronic directed energy weapons attacks upon her person. They prove that psychotronic attacks compounded by negligent infliction of emotional distress by authorities who do not take seriously plaintiff's reports about this crime greatly impact plaintiff's functioning and cause the serious post-traumatic stress disorder. Fresh evidence excerpt from answer to FOIA um, request proves negligence of RCMP one more time. Uh, I filed a complaint uh, with RCMP uh, in October 2008 uh, and honestly I forced RCMP uh, to start an investigation of this crime. Uh, they started this investigation in the middle of January 2009 and ended it on the 9th of February 2009, uh, in one month after uh, the beginning. Uh, this investigation consisted of one conversation with Li Chen. Uh, he confessed to RCMP officer uh, that he had studied psychotronic mind control weapons and their influence on psych of people during this conversation. RCMP stopped the investigation after this conversation with Li Chen. Uh, this investigation uh, was carried on by Corporal Clamp of RCMP. And Corporal Clamp said to me that he didn't consider psychotronic attacks as a crime at all. He said to me that we looked differently at the same laws, including Constitution of Canada, and he didn't see anything criminal in such experiments uh, or psychotronic weapons attacks uh, on people. 
uh, it proved that RCMP owed me a duty of care, uh, but their investigation was a pure form of negligence since they stopped it after Li Chen confessed that he had studied the psychotronic weapons attacks upon uh, people and their psyche. Uh, RCMP didn't come to me with spectrum analyzers and other electronic equipment in order to find the criminals who implanted nanomaterials in my system and attacked me by means of psychotronic weapons. Uh, issue 2. Did the trial judge err in finding that the statement of claim was incomprehensible, it was impossible for the defendants to respond to it and no attempts at amendment? could remedy the defects of the claim. Statement of claim uh, is comprehensible and clear. It stems from psychotronic weapons attacks and experimentations uh, with the plaintiff by means of equipment similar to equipment of Information Unlimited Company and other companies. In order to control mind of plaintiff, confuse and disorient her, induce hypnotic states, produce weird hallucinations and optical illusions, create motion and balance instabilities in her. A plaintiff read the advertisement of the products of Information Unlimited Company to the Honorable Justice uh, Pitt uh, the motion on the 5th of December 2008, and he said that this evidence should have been in her case. Plaintiff filed the evidence with the Superior Court of Justice on the 12th of December 2008. It was uh, possible for all defendants to respond to the claim uh, as it was pleaded. Fresh evidence, uh, for example, uh, United States Electromagnetic Weapons and Human Rights Study by Sonoma State University, expert reports from Dr. Uh, Hildegard uh, Steninger, uh, Cynthia Spanier, June Steiner, Joyce Myers, uh, United States Patents, Advertisement of Advanced Electronic Security Company, uh, uh, Proof Existence of Psychotronic Mind Control Weapons, Fresh Evidence, uh, an article of Advanced Electronic Security Company, proves that it is perfectly possible to prove electromagnetic attacks upon a person. Mm. Uh, for example, Advanced Electronic Security Company performs electronic sweeping and surveys by means of spectrum analyzers and other equipment in order to determine if clients are being electronically harassed. Advanced Electronic Security Company is an experienced and knowledgeable professional private investigative agency with the ability to find and then help to eliminate electronic uh, psychotronic harassment. Fresh evidence, expert reports from Dr. Hildegard Steninger and uh, addendum substantiate the psychotronic mind control ill effects on plaintiff. They prove uh, that the plaintiff is a victim of specific electromagnetic and radio frequency fields that react with poisonous nanomaterials in her body. The toxic and advanced nanomaterials in her system are used as microchips to send signals to the body. Uh, uh, issue number three. Did the trial judge err in finding that the claim was frivolous, vex vexatious and abusive in respect of the defendants? Uh, fresh evidence uh, reports from doctors Hildegard Steninger, uh, Cynthia Spanier, June Steiner, Joyce Myers, uh, United States Patents, uh, declassified documents, uh, study by Sonoma State University prove existence of psychotronic mind control weapons. Fresh evidence, uh, expert reports from doctors uh, Hildegard Steninger uh, and addendum uh, to this report uh, substantiate the psychotronic mind control ill effects on plain teeth. These medical uh, records prove that the plain teeth is a victim of specific electromagnetic and radio frequency fields that react with poisonous toxic nanomaterials in her body. Uh, the toxic advanced nanomaterials in her system are used as a microchip to send microchips to send signals to the body. 